the red carpet arrivals for what's fast becoming the most influential film festival in Asia. Each year there are six or seven thousand people who attend the festival. We've had about 400 Chinese and foreign film stars walk our red carpet. Western movie makers are here to get a foothold in a huge consumer market and, like the director of Oscar-winning film Chariots of Fire, to offer Chinese filmmakers tips on how to get ahead. Chinese films don't, won't export, so it's got to be films from a Western point of view that will export that have Western actors, characters, dealing with Chinese people, of course. But if Shanghai is where finished films are promoted and sold, it's here, four hours drive south, where more and more are being made. Heng Dian is China's Hollywood, its production powerhouse. By size, the studios make up the biggest outdoor movie complex in the world. There are Qing Dynasty markets, Ming Dynasty Kung Fu courtyards, even a full-size replica of Beijing's Forbidden Palace. If only, say filmmakers, creative freedom for content match that for sets. When you have a, you want to make a film, you have to turn in the script first to the to the sofa. They're going to send you a script, and then they think the script is okay. They give you a permit to shoot the film, and then. Uh, later on, when you finish the film, you have to turn the computer film to them again. They're going to censor the film and tell you what scene to be deleted from the scene. Media moguls have different objections. In Shanghai, Rupert Murdoch called for the lifting of quotas for foreign films distributed in China. Each year, just 20 are allowed. Protection is supposed to give Chinese film industry a, ti a, a time for breathing, time to to, to, to gain the strength so that they can compete with Hollywood. Chinese film revenues have jumped tenfold in five years. After America's, the market is the world's biggest. The race to claim a stake in it is on. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Heng Dian.